called the bronze to Republican candidate Fred Thompson on the National Intelligence Estimate, in which all 16 intel agencies agree Iran stopped its efforts to create nuclear weapons in 2003. The former senator says, quote, they're undoubtedly intent upon nuclear weapons. I don't care what the latest NIE says. That's foolishness. Represents our own inability to get a handle on it more than anything else. Fred Thompson knows more than all of our intelligence agencies combined. This is the same Fred Thompson who said in October that in trying to squeeze Iran, we should not count on any help from the Soviet Union. Our silver medalist tonight, Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney. After Governor Huckabee was quoted as asking if he was right that Mormon theology included believing Jesus and the devil were brothers, before Huckabee apologized Romney by, uh, to Romney by phone, Romney said it was not that. He slammed Huckabee and added, Attacking someone's faith, that's simply un-American. That's the same Mitt Romney who explained last month that he would not have a Muslim in his cabinet because there were not enough Muslims in the country to justify appointing one, say nothing of how he attacked people who were not religious or not fervently religious. But the winner? Oh, he's back. Billo with another triumph. Talking points, please. Firm legal boundaries must be set, but the president should have the legal authority to order things like waterboarding. For years, opponents of harsh methods have said they don't lead to reliable information, but that is not true. How does the Frank Burns of news know this? The CIA agent who supervised the waterboarding of Al-Qaeda big shot Abu Zubaydah said the interrogation method broke him, and that means the waterboarding saved lives, perhaps thousands of lives. Bill, when you're right, you're right. John Kiriakou didn't witness the waterboarding, but he claims Zubaida spilled the tales of terrorist plots. Unfortunately, he can't remember any of the plots, and he admits he never checked to see if any of what Zubaida said checked out, or it was just crap he made up so we wouldn't drown him. But if such a reliable expert can base his absolute conclusions on absolutely nothing, then Billy, so can you. One guy who wasn't there and doesn't know what was said, or if any of it was true, Billow's decisive source on why waterboarding is mandatory. Bill Orley, today's worst person in the world.